Hi everyone, welcome to day 25th of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we will be solving one of the data analyst interview question. So let's see the question. You have given two table, customers and orders. Customer table has column ID, name, phone number and address and the order table has a column order ID, customer ID, order date and the cost. Find the percentage of shippable orders. Consider an order is shippable if the customer address is known. So let's see the data that we have in the table. So first table that is the customer table. We have the customer table which is ID, name, city, address and the phone number. Now you can see this address column. Few address are basically null. So basically there are no address for few of the customers. Now let's see the order table. In the order table we have order ID, customers ID, order date, order details and the total cost. Now if you see the common column between these two table which is the customers ID and the ID in the customer table and the customer's ID in the orders table which is this one customer's ID here and the same ID basically in the customer's table the name is ID. Now we can join both the table based on basically this ID and the customer's ID in the orders table. Now let's see how we can solve this question it says find the percentage of shippable orders. Now let's understand how we can find shippable orders. Now let's say if there are 10 orders, if there are 10 orders, out of 10 orders, if the basically five customer has a you know known address, basically for five customers we have the address, so it would be five and the total order which is 10. Now basically only we have five address for five customers and rest of the five orders we do not have address for the customers. So the shippable basically is going to be what? Shippable is going to be 50%, isn't it? So how we can find it is basically shippable orders divided by total orders into 100 so this is how you find the shippable orders right assuming that today order is 10 and the five customers we have address for address we do not have the address so this is how you find the shippable basically orders now for this conditions we need to basically find out the total orders find total orders right then we need to find out like total shippable orders shippable orders that means where we have address right where address is not null right we need to basically find where address is not null and other than that basically we simply need to basically do uh, basically aggregations like uh, you know shippable order shippable orders divided by total orders and uh, multiply with 100 so this is how we'll be able to find out shippable orders for this basically data that we have today now i will request you to watch the video till the end because at the end of this video i'm going to give you a sql challenge which you can solve and write down your query in the comment box and of course you can download this data by going into video descriptions where i will be adding my github link so let's start writing query to solve these questions now in one table we do not have all the information like in order table we do not have the address but we have the address in the customers table and we have a common column in between these two tables, which is customers ID in this orders table and ID in the customers table. So based on the ID and the customers ID, we can make a join. Then we can get the data of address because we will need this column, right? So let's just go ahead and say things that we need. So first I'm selecting basically, you know, everything from the orders table. So for the orders table, I'm just giving an alias. So I'm saying from orders SO. So this is the alias I'm giving. I'm saying everything which is everything from o dot star that means i'm selecting everything from the orders table and i'm selecting basically i'm selecting basically this uh, address column from the basically you know the customers table so i would say c dot address okay now i'll need to make a join okay so i'll need to make a join between these two table so let's just go ahead and say join with the customers table customers as C now the thing is that we have uh, multiple orders now in orders table we may have basically same customer placing multiple orders so we don't want to miss any orders if we do an inner join so you will be getting only basically you know matching information from both the table that means you may not get basically all the informations from the customers table uh, so what we want is basically we want all the orders from the orders table that's the reason I'm doing a left join so that I get all the orders ID and basically for that order ID whatever the customer ID is that for that customers ID I need the address from the address table from the customers table now I'm doing a left join to ensure that I am getting all the information from the orders table and for each order I get the address from the customer table using the customers ID so I'm saying left join with customers as C and now I will be giving a condition which is the ID on the you know basically customers table and you know in the order table which is basically 
customer's ID, which is going to be cust ID, right? So I think let's just check. So in customer table, it's called ID, and in the order table, it's called cust ID. Let's just verify it once again. In the order table, it's called cust ID, which is the common column, and in the customer table, it's called ID. So based on this, I'm joining now. If I just run this query, you will see I am getting basically everything from the orders table, but I'm getting address from basically that table which is customers table now you see a lot of address has basically null you know so where we do not have basically you know address for few customers right like this customer doesn't have address so this is what we want to count we want to count like how many customers i mean for how many orders we have address of the customers and then basically we want to count the total orders now let's just go ahead and see how we can solve it right so we can use a simple case statement to basically say that if the address you know is uh, found then basically we can give one and if the address is null then we can give zero then we can basically count the basically you know uh one and that's how we can basically solve this question so let's see how we can do it right so i can here i can say that i can just add one more column now i can say case okay so i want to so i want to make a logic based on the address okay if the address is there then i want to give it call one okay so case when this uh, syntax is very simple if you do not know case just let me know in the comment i'll make a video it's a very simple uh, syntax like if logic that you have in excel so i'm saying when this address from the customer table is not null okay then i want one else i want is basically zero now i will just close this uh, you know case using end now if i just run this query you will see a new column here and uh, the column will basically have values like 1 and 0 let's just run it to show you now you see wherever i have basically this address i'm getting 1 and if we do not have address for the orders we are getting basically 0 so now what i want to basically do is basically count this one i mean you know i mean sum this one that's how i can ensure like how many orders for how many orders we have address right that is going to be shippable orders so now i can go ahead and say this column i can just cut it this column and i can use some functions and inside the sum i can put this uh, basically logic that i have created and i can name it called basically uh, shippable shippable orders right so these are the shippable orders wherever we have one it is a shippable orders if zero it's not shippable orders now if i just run this query i will have the count i mean a total number of basically you know basically shippable orders right so i don't need these things right now so i can just go ahead and delete it and i find i can just go ahead and run it now i have seven shippable orders right now if i go ahead and see total orders that we have i can just go ahead and you know kind of uh, you know say that count of uh, star so i can say count of stars and this is this is going to us uh, show us the total orders we have in the table which is 25 so out of 25 we have seven orders which is basically shippable because only for seven orders we have address and we do not have address for the rest of the orders basically so now this is how you got basically the shippable orders because we are saying that if the address is not null okay that means if the address is uh, not null that means that order is considered as a shippable order right so and we are at the end we are basically summing all the shippable orders now i can just go ahead and basically you know uh, kind of uh, divide this uh, total shippable orders right total shippable orders by the total orders right so for the total orders i can simply use a count functions count of stars so count of star is going to basically count all the orders that we have in the join right so this is how we can kind of find the total uh, you know i mean kind of total shippable orders and divided by the total orders right now we can multiply with 100 like as we mentioned here that is this is how we can basically find the percentage of shippable orders now this now this is going to give us an error because we need to first convert this results into number then only we can basically kind of find the percentage right so let's just first run it and see now if i run it i see a zero right but that's not the correct because i know there are like 28 orders and i know that there are seven shippable orders so what i can do basically here i can say just simply convert this result now maybe outside this query i can just convert it as numeric so numeric and i can just also convert this total order as well here now after that i'm basically multiplying with 100 right so if i just run this query i will have my answer so now i have total 28 percent right 28 percent orders are shippable so that means whatever the totals order we're receiving out of those total orders 28 percent orders is basically shippable now i can just maybe give a nice name here shippable percentage orders right so now i can just run it 
now i see which is 28 percent right now i can use again a round functions to basically kind of you know make it like look better so i can go ahead and say round two round to basically convert the number into two decimals now if i just run this query i will have basically 28.00 which is our basically kind of percentage see it has rounded to two decimals now this is how you can solve any kind of complex problem using sql and simple basically syntax so you just need to break down the problem into a smaller like this way and then you can basically kind of see how you can solve each and every you know basically uh, problem and then that's how you can basically solve the questions now i have a task for you let me show you the task your task is find out the percentage of orders where customers doesn't have a valid phone numbers note the length of valid phone number is 10 character so if the a phone number has a uh, maybe less than 10 character that's not a valid phone number or if basically the phone number is basically 12 character that's not a valid phone number so valid phone number is basically 10 character now if i just uh, show you the data of the customer's data i see some phone numbers are basically maybe 10 some phone number are 12 and so on so on so you need to find out basically your task is basically find out the percentage of orders where the customer doesn't have a valid phone numbers you can download this data from the video descriptions by clicking into my github link that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end and if you really like my channel and content do subscribe to my youtube channel have a good day take care